It's one of the most famous photos in South Florida sports history. Howard Schnellenberger, who passed away last weekend, carried off by his team after a victory in the 1984 Orange Bowl, sealing the first national championship for the University of Miami in football. There's only one problem. When Turner Gill took that snap, rolled to his right and threw into the end zone, and Kenny Calhoun deflected it away, sealing the University of Miami's first championship, Howard Schnellenberger wasn't wearing a blue blazer. He was wearing a gray blazer. And the Hurricanes were wearing white. They weren't wearing their orange home jerseys. So what is the deal with this photograph? Well, if we look back at the University of Miami schedule from 1983, there are two possible games where this could have happened. A night game, a high-ranked opponent. The first is against Notre Dame. And in my search, I couldn't find anything about a carryoff. I did find one game where Howard was carried off the field. It was against West Virginia. But again, a similar problem emerges. He was wearing gray, not blue. Is it possible that this photo, so identified with the 1983 National Championship team, wasn't from 1983 at all? The answer astoundingly, is yes. I decided to look into it further. I took a look back at 1982, and to be honest, it was a good but not great season for the Hurricanes. Not really a win in the bunch that would have inspired a carrying off the field for Coach Schnellenberger. And any significant victory occurred during the day. So again, the whole year thrown out. But then we look at 1981, A banner year, coming off an appearance in the Peach Bowl in 1980, the Hurricanes had high hopes, but they were dented by NCAA probation. However, a strong campaign capped off with a victory over Notre Dame to bring the school its first nine-win season in decades. That would be a good reason to carry a coach off the field. ABC Sports presents... college football. The Fighting Irish of Notre Dame and the Hurricanes of Miami. November 27th, 1981. The University of Miami defeats Notre Dame 37 to 15. It's only the second win for UM over Notre Dame in decades. Kind of a big deal, wouldn't you say? The win is such a big deal, it actually leads the front page of the Miami Herald the next day. It's almost at the top of 1A. U.M. bowls over Notre Dame, 37-15, the headline on the Edwin Pope column. But we see a picture, and it's not of Coach Nellenberger. But of course, if you're leading the front page, you would imagine some more coverage inside in the sports section. And it's there. Two stories and two photos. One of Tim Flanagan, one of Jim Kelly. None of Coach Howard Schnellenberger on anyone's shoulders. Normally, this would be enough to write off the game. But I decided to turn one more page. Go inside the sports section. The third page of coverage. 5D. And like a diamond buried at the bottom of a mine, there it is. University of Miami coach Howard Schnellenberger is surrounded by happy hurricanes as he reaches to shake hands with Irish coach Jerry Faust. The photo by Bill Frakes, one of the most iconic photos in the history of South Florida sports, absolutely buried in the middle of the sports section. So, we know this photo isn't from 1984, and it's not from 1983. It's from the last game of the regular season of 1981, celebrating a famous victory over Notre Dame that would soon become only a small footnote in the significant history of University of Miami football.